What's up guys, Jonathan here with TLD, got a Photoshop CS5 speed test, just a little quick one, between the 2011 quad-core MacBook Pro spec at 2.3 gigahertz, 4 gigs of RAM, and the 2011 quad-core iMac spec at 3.4 gigahertz with 4 gigs of RAM, so the high end of the high end models, we're going head to head. Now if you guys want to play along at home, you guys got Photoshop, I will post a link down below where you can download the script and the photo, so the first thing we're going to do is open up the photo. Once that's open, I'm going to use a little expose action so we can get back to that folder containing the script. Go ahead and double click that, open up however you want to do that. We're going to go up to window and select action to make sure that's viewable. We're going to head over to the right and we're going to select button mode. Now the final step is we're going to head down to the picture right here and we're going to select timing. You guys are going to click that. That's going to count down the time of how long the script takes. So once we do that, we can head over to the script part and go ahead and engage that. Now what you guys are seeing right now, we're going to do the MacBook Pro first. Again, this is spec'd out at 2.3 gigahertz. This is the quad-core Core i7 model with 4 gigs of RAM and an AMD Radeon 6750M standing for mobile 1 gigabyte video card. Now there are four physical cores in this MacBook Pro, but because of hyper-threading, the OS will actually see and utilize this as a thread. So you got four physical and another four virtual on top of that. So this thing is going to scream. We're just about done, let's go ahead and see how it fares, and clocked in at 26.6 seconds, not too shabby. Let's go ahead and jump onto the iMac and see how that does. No animals were harmed during the filming of that sound effect. Let's go ahead and engage this test. Now keep in mind these are downscaled from the original resolutions. The iMac comes in at 2560 by 1440, as opposed to the MacBook Pro with the high res that comes in at 1680 by 1050, and the standard resolution of 1440 by 900. Obviously, if you step up to the 17 inch, you're gonna get the full 1920 by 1200 resolution. And we're just about done with this test. That clocks in at 21 seconds. So that's actually, to me, it's a significant improvement from the MacBook Pro. It's gonna save you time. To most people, that might not matter. So it really comes down to whether you need mobility or if you can keep it at home, obviously you're gonna get faster performance and a much bigger screen real estate. So I will do a more in-depth review coming up very soon. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys wanna play along, let me know your results down below. Check out our two latest videos. As always, feel free to subscribe and I will catch you guys later.